For the second time in two years, crooks have targeted jewelry stores in southwest suburban Lamont by breaking into neighboring businesses. They then make their way into more expensive shops. CBS 2's Chris Ty explains how Mother Nature foiled their latest attempt. Good evening. Police think this was a break in into Christina's jewelry, but they were caught red handed going into Generation Bliss Boutique next door. And the owner of the boutique thinks it was an attempted break in that lasted over two nights. He notices like, I guess some like random like holes kind of like in different areas. Rainwater helped Ella Chupta's father discover these holes in the roof of his daughter's boutique Saturday. Water everywhere. Unclear the cause, they patched it up and for good measure set up this ring camera, which paid big dividends not two nights later. What is happening? That's what came to mind Sunday night when her brother happened by a kitchen iPad with the camera feed up at full volume. It was the sound of thieves trying to break in. Someone is literally trying to get in here because the sound was just very loud. You just like are in this like trippy moment. She called police. Within minutes, they had arrested 26 year old Dennis Denaris and 41 year old Elgertas Glinkus, both here on visas from Lithuania. They were carrying saws and wire cutters and a plan, investigators think, to break into Ella's merely as a gateway to the jewelry store on the other side of some thin drywall. Jewelry stores, they're, when they're being robbed, their target is the store or space that's adjacent to the jewelry store. Lamont police say it's the second time in two years thieves have tried the neighbor break-in approach. For their part, the jewelry store owner tells CBS2 fortified safes would have prevented any burglary. For her part, Ella calls this a step-by-step, -step, like a little system. Where thieves with a plan met a retailer with luck on her side. It was the rain, the water, getting that camera put in, and then being in the kitchen at the perfect time. The time these two have left in the United States is very much in question. They're back in court next month. They had to forfeit their passport as part of their bond. In Lamont, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Lamont police do not believe this pair of thieves is connected to the attempts to burglarize a different Lamont jewelry store in 2018.